Since 1991, the Akbank Jazz Festival has been bringing the latest contemporary and classical jazz tunes to Istanbul. For the next 10 days, on stages across the metropolis, performances by an international array of musicians will ring out in what organizers are labeling as a celebration of jazz in the city. The festival is famous for showcasing an array of experimental sounds and label-defying genres. Some of the big names from the jazz world will perform side by side with emerging artists. By also holding panels, workshops and social responsibility projects, the organizers are hoping the audience dives deep into the nitty-gritty of the rhythms they came here to enjoy. Daria Bigalu is the director at the Akbank Arts Center and joins me in our studio to talk about the festival. Thank you so much for being with us today, Daria. Now, tell me about some of the big names that will be uh, taking part in the festival this year. Yes, uh, this year we will be hosting more than 100 musicians and some of them are world famous names, as you know, uh, especially Jamie Cullum and Till Brunner. Uh, these are the Grammy Award names. Uh, and also there are interesting names uh, like uh, Comet is Coming, Ezra Collective, uh, Tarkovsky Quartet, The Bat Plus, Avishai Cohen, uh, Omar Avital, many, many names, uh, but some of them will be shown on the big stages in Istanbul, like Arena, also again Arena, Unique Hall, uh, Cemal Reşit Rey Cultural Center and Zorlu Performance Center. Uh, so 70, 37, uh, 37 venues mm -hmm. and 37 concerts together with uh, showcases and other uh, workshops and seminars. Uh, a very rich program is waiting for us. Now, Daria, tell me how this festival has changed and evolved over the years since it first began back in the early 1990s. Well, it changed a lot because uh, during those days there was no other jazz festival and it was the first, not the first, but the longest running festival. Uh, and there was not a big uh, jazz audience, as you might guess. Uh, and the first years, there were only few concerts, but uh, in years, uh, we have extended the program. So uh, besides uh, the concerts, we have added uh, many seminars, workshops, especially with children, because it's important uh, for children uh, to deal with arts in many different disciplines. Uh, as Akbank Sanat, we are uh, very much uh, working with children, not only in jazz festival, also in Akbank Art Center uh, with children theater and many other workshops also and uh, we have extended the festival also outside of Istanbul to many Anatolian uh, cities this year nine different campuses in mm -hmm. nine different cities especially. Wow uh, you guys have really worked hard and have come a very long way since 1991 when the festival yes. first uh, started. Now um, Tell me what makes the Akbank Jazz Festival unique and different from the, the dozens and dozens of other festivals around the world, jazz festivals around yes, the world. Yes, uh, we, we have a unique festival uh, because uh, I am also visiting other some of the other festivals and we are also the member of European Jazz Network. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I go to the other festivals, I see that there are only concerts, nothing more. Well, okay, some of the festivals have some other additional programs, but our festival, uh, compared to the others, is a very, has a very rich program, as I mentioned, especially with workshops, seminars. So we have an educational part also. And uh, so this campuses, campus series is unique also. Uh, there is no other festival that makes concerts in the campuses. And so white, so many different venues. Usually the festivals are only in few venues in the city. Uh, and uh, other than that, we have jazz branches and other uh, small concerts. Mm -hmm. So what we want to make is we want to increase the audience. Uh, audience development is very important mm -hmm. for us. For 28 years, uh, now we realize that there is a great audience, jazz audience in yeah. uh, Turkey. Now tell me a bit about these uh, educational workshops that uh, you're telling me about. Um, can anyone just take part in these workshops? Yes, there are seminars about different uh, proje uh, different uh, topics uh, everybody is free uh, you, they don't have to buy ticket uh, there are also some uh, children workshops there are there are dance uh, workshops mm -hmm. uh, so jazz lovers can find anything they want i think wow um 
a lot to look forward to. Yes. Um, now tell me about the one concert you're most looking forward to this year. Well, especially the first big concert, Till Brunner. He's a, a very legendary German uh, musician. Uh, it will be on a Thursday uh, at Unique Hall. It will be a big concert. So this is the first concert that I am looking forward to. Also, uh, Bat Plus and Avishai Cohen and, you know, Tarkovsky Quartet might be very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, I recommend the jazz lovers uh, to go to the concerts, especially to the, uh, to the musicians that they don't know. Perhaps they can find new uh, artists that they want to follow for the future. So this, will, this might be a challenge, perhaps, for the jazz lovers. Might. So, Daria Abigala, thank you so much for coming on our show today and sharing us the lineup uh, of the Jazz Festival this year. Thank you very much.